You know, Thanksgiving is a beloved American holiday, and many of the origins of the traditions that we celebrate started right here in the Big Apple. I've got plenty to be thankful for. On Thanksgiving, the definition of family expands to include the people in our broader community who perhaps uh, can't travel home for Thanksgiving or are elderly or sick. Thanksgiving is also a time to honor traditions, but many of us don't know where those traditions came from. The bottom line is gratitude. Sometimes we can forget that. What started out as a friendly three-day feast between the Wampanoag Indians and pilgrims at Plymouth Rock didn't last long. It was a peaceful time. It was a time of fellowship and a time of, um, it was a hopeful time. 50 years later, uh, the country, the, the, the colony would erupt in war. And of course, we all know the very tragic history of Native Americans. While some choose to boycott Thanksgiving, for others, the holiday is about food, family, and of course, football. Football and Thanksgiving have gone hand in hand since about the time football was created. The first football game was in 1869, and uh, Princeton played Rutgers, and uh, Rutgers won. In her book, Thanksgiving, the Holiday at the Heart of the American Experience, author Melanie Kirkpatrick says New York kicked off the football frenzy. Starting in the 1870s, Princeton and Yale started having a championship game. And, and it started in New York City around 19, uh, 1880. And it was, the city would go wild over football. By 1890, there were 5,000 games being played around the United States. New York's always a trendsetter. New York is also responsible for kicking off another trend, Giving Tuesday, which began four years ago at the 92nd Street Y. Thanksgiving is often thought of as the start of the giving season. Lots of other countries are now doing Giving Tuesday, even though they don't celebrate Thanksgiving. This year, Thanksgiving has taken on a whole new meaning in the wake of the contentious political atmosphere. Thanksgiving this year is a t another time for healing. It's a, mem it's a moment to remember what unites us as Americans, not just what divides us. Well, Melanie's book includes historic recipes and readings that can become part of your Thanksgiving Day tradition if you're looking for something a little different.